Robert and I were doing a client casework in the Nashville area. We had stopped at the client's house when we were opening up a 901. Uh, as Robert was opening up the 901, I heard someone in distress who said, help, help, help me. So I turned around, ran back to, uh, to the mother and saw that the young man was in distress. So, without thinking, I just did what I was supposed to do. That's sick, and that dog got, got choked in my mouth, and so um, I was coughing, and then I was, um, there was some yucky things on my nose. Robert yelled, I called 911, so I started running toward the mother and saw the little boy, and he was bent over and started gagging. He was gagging pretty bad, so. Yeah. I ran over to him and got him down on, in the position that we're supposed to and just started uh, trying to force it out of him. And after about a, I would say about a 50, 60 seconds, uh, it was pretty successful. We gave him some water to kind of clear, to clear his system out of him and everything. But, uh, and then he turned around and looked at us and said, I knew I should have cut that piece of candy in half. <laughs> Kid, don't eat any more candy, okay? <laughs> what do you want to say to those guys? <laughs> what nice words do you want to say to them? Howdy, howdy, howdy. How about a thank you? A thank you for my <laughs> Kim, is there anything you would want to say to Charles and Robert? Thank you very much um, for everything that you did that day, especially, well, I was... I my eyes on me. I'm sweaty. I want some water. Robert. During the disaster and everything, um, thank you so much. Thanks. It means a lot.